Now there are quests. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to grab right now. You're amazing. You go in and out of the Undersea Temple like it's nothing. You even buy me drinks! Go for the gold, Kurohana. Keep at it, Kurohana. <laughs> for that water. I've had all types of rum in my day, but the rum made in Amaro from Amarod Molasses is the champ. Now for the treasure you've been waiting for. This this is a hold rock. I see it I see it's through, through the hole. Getting the six I'm doing, you gotta skewer the eerie set Ah the Spears, gotcha. I can't count on the count on the number of spears I wasted getting this thing. Hey, you better not tell anyone, okay? It's a secret between us two and only us two. There, there's five of us here. I mean, yes, I know technically I'm supposed to be a separate character too, but whatever. This wine was distilled from honey and it's honey. Eh? Hmm, what a mellow taste. And this is what we call a wheel blade. I got mine when I defeated Deep Maiden after biting her arm. Too bad we only get the blade and not the whole wheel, eh? But listen, don't go blabbing about this, you hear me? I don't have anybody who does vines right now, to be honest. It's not that huge of a deal. I can always specify specialize people to do that type of stuff later on. This is made from coconuts, right? The, the drinks are my favorite part of the thriving sea trade. So here, feast your eyes on this. It's a cursed talon. The trick is to burn down a dementia owl. But every time I use a flame jar, it put me to sleep or confuse me. Just warning ya. Whoa, but that's a secret. You better not, you know, you not to, to repeat that, got it? What an ordeal, huh? Can't you tell by looking at me? Pitfalls. Damn pitfalls. We fell through a pit trap on V15 and fell on the ground below and it was an insanely strong night thing. It wiped out our whole party, slickly split. Talk about rubbing salt in the wound. You guys better watch out too. If you fall down a pit, you better jet before the night falls you. Mine too, whatever. There might be a quest that involves me actually having to finish this one first, because I remember something about following a knight FOE and trying to trap it. Oh, whatever. It would appear that things are getting extremely serious in the Undersea Shrine. Of course, you know what that means. Huge fights coming up in the near future. At least that's how these things usually go in this world. You better be prepared. Let me go to Nephew's Firm. Ice Cannon. Spear. Sword I'm probably never gonna use. Crown Hat. Quite an upgrade. Oh, th oh, that's for Rika. Another upgrade for her already. Jeez, a pretty hefty one too. Damn it. Fine. <laughs> I just upgraded it. I'd rather focus on armor right now. Okay, can't get plate mail. Crown head. Lose anything? Okay. Uh, that, that was the main thing I was checking on. Yeah, it's like a, yeah it is an upgrade to the ferret. She definitely needs armor. And now I'm broke. Took a while for me to get broke again. Oh, I'm blowing nectars. No. Give me a thread. Give me a couple nectars. I'm out of amaretas, but I think I should be fine for the rest of this floor. Probably. Nectar, there we go. Two more nectars, just, so, just, as in, just in case. Talk to her. Now let's see here. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Into you come in. What's this? It's called an abacus. It's still doing figures back in my home country. What? Looks like an effective balm for stiff necks. 
I should try rolling it on my shoulders. The absolute funk. Er, now, that, now that I try it, this could uh, prove to be a real money maker. I'll have my craftsmen start a mass production. Bless you for the idea. Do you know Princess Gutrun? I happened to see her at the outskirt of town when I was coming back from doing shopping. She was surprised, surrounded by guards, so I think she was heading to the royal forest. I hear she's sick. Hopefully she'll take good care of herself and get better soon. Looks like the investigation of the sunken runes is going well. I've heard monsters called Deep Ones call those runes home. You fi figure monsters that live underwater will be weak to fire, right? Mm, too late now. I just eat, dropped off one of my favorite weapons, the firebrand, to get it sharpened. I thought about lending it to you since it leaves a flame trail in its wake of its swing. Oh well. Have you heard about the legendary whale that lives off the coast of Farmer Road? It's called Pe Pendra. It's a notorious demon that sunk scores of ships. It was over ten years ago when I first heard its name. I haven't heard anything on it in a while, so maybe it's dead. But there's a, the, there is the occasional rumor. Just be careful out there. Then again, I suppose all quite, um, you're all quite used to fighting monsters. Oh, right, I, right, I was supposed to turn in that one quest. All right, I totally forgot about the turn this in. You've done well to go forth and return safely. But tell me, did you find it? Yes, yes, this is it. The Amaranthos, the immortal blossom that never perishes. Well done. Before we go on, I have a reward for your hard work. Now to business. You wait here while I fetch the princess. Thank you, everyone, for your continued assistance. My heart swells with gratitude at your, at your delivery of the Amaranthos. I feel much better with it. In light of your devoted service to the crown, I believe it is time I revealed everything. This amaranthos is used to brew a certain poultice that prolongs my life. Indeed, since the calamity, I have employed various methods to increase my longevity. I defy nature thus because I wish to save my brother, who vanished these 100 years ago. My brother believed it was his duty to seal the evil threatening on Marode. Descended in, he descended into the ocean to fight it, but 100 years have passed and the evil remains. As for my brother, he is amnesiac due to Yggdrasil's control, and no longer remembers me either. I wish to rescue my brother from his pitiful state. He was so kind to me, and now... I'm sorry to disturb you, your highness, but an emergency has arisen. The Abyssal King and his close advisor are leading a horde into the undersea shrine. I've done some probing into their actions, and they seem to be after a teleportation device. In any event, their movements were ex so extraordinary that I felt I had to report my leash. A teleportation device. We had such technology in Armor Road once. If worse comes to worst and one of the, one remains active in the abyss, it could be very troublesome for us. If you are willing to work on our behalf once more, please come back to hear our plea. I'll second the request. You're the only hope the princess has now. Return when you're ready. I'll just talk to her real quick. The teleportation device is set up in the shrine was originally used only by the royal family. It's such a fantastical story that no one would believe it now, but you're different. You'll see it with your own eyes in the depths of the abyss. Just you wait. Since the teleportation device exists in the forest strand that connects to the porcelain forest, find it before the denizens of Deep City do. Are you ready? Then let's not waste any more time. I'll go fetch the princess. Claudia told me everything. Thank you very much. I should inform you of the particulars of this mission. It concerns the teleportation device I mentioned previously. I'd like for you to find it. In truth, there seems to be one such device in the porcelain forest where I, uh... Conval ah, damn it. What should uh, what should be a peaceful holy sanctuary is now infested with here to unseen monsters. If by chance the device in the abyss should be connected to the porcelain forest, I am greatly concerned about this and what my exorcist possessed brother may do. Thus, you must find for find for me the teleportation device before those in the deep city control it. You will face not only the deep ones, but also those of the deep city. The risks will be steep. But I believe that it is within your power to accomplish this. For my part, I have no power. I can only trust in your skill. Please return safely. Thank you. You must be sick of hearing this by now, but there's not much I can do to help. No one knows what may lurk in the shrine's depths. You must be on your toes. And remember, the secondary mission objective. Come back safely. Understood? Okay. Anti fire's done. Yay. Um, shit. <laughs> 
He doesn't really need anything from this at all, to be completely honest. And I can put more points to the Bloody Lance to boost up her damage every time she kills something. Nah. I mean, these could be good for, like, a sim simple, like, oh wait, she's, she's not leveling up, she hasn't leveled up anyways. Could just get her, like, these for, like, situations where she's not using, you know, all enemies during situations where I don't need to do the other stuff. Yeah. Anyways. Level 7, yay. He heals the entire party now. I don't really need to go make it go beyond level 7, that's pr pretty much fine. Uh, Reika, Reika, Reika. I mean, I'm putting points into that. I'm slightly regretting not going for a pincushion. Oh well. Oh, she would have. Oh, she would have just gotten it anyways. Whatever. I can always, re like I said, I can always respect her once I get to the, get to the fifth stratum or something. Not a problem. Welcome back, Kurohana. Since you came from Amaro, tell me, do you trust the Sentus? No, no one has mankind's interests at heart more than the Abyssal King. Be sure to keep that in mind when choosing sides. Ah, it's Kurohana. How's your exploring, exploring going? Well, I hope. All the materials you brought back have led to a real improvement in both offices of Napier's firm. I bet my sister's pleased. This, uh, this will lead to higher profits, and there's nothing more she loves more. I wish I could find something besides money that would make her happy. The Abyssal King and the Olympia are both away on an important mission. The grand plan to save Armor Road and all of mankind is about to begin. Alright, let's store that one thing. Coupon. Both, the, both of those. I don't need those right now. Coupons should only be for post-game equipment to cut back on grind. They're not worth it to use over there, especially with how limited supply those things are. And like I said, I don't know if chests re restock when you go into New Game Plus or not, which means I might get more coupons, but it wouldn't surprise me if that's not the case. Okay. I don't think I need to actually rest right now. I think TP-wise I'm fine. I don't think there's actually very much left of this place. Once I, you know, once it's a case of, once I go to, um, yeah. I lost try, I lost try, oh, my train of thought. Um, yeah, once I get to, uh, the final floor, then we'll be fine. Yeah, once I get to the final floor, then I can go, then I can rest. I didn't really explore much of this side, did I? God damn it, I knew it. I knew I missed something. Oh well. A little late now. Ah! Curses.
don't see where that goes. Damn it. I just want to explore. Basically, the lightning version of Hellfire. need one of those? One Damascus Edge and some Spear Tips. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I need to go to Spearhead Tips. That's... I'm pretty sure that was from the weaker versions of those, wasn't it? Unlock that. Hmm. How rude. Thank <laughs> you. 
sword's good. Now for this. Inspect the wall before you find three prominent holes with all the like subjects. Likely something fits here. Oh. I haven't found that yet. I guess I haven't found the thing that I need to do for that yet. Weird. Somehow I found that earlier. I'm not entirely sure what it was or where I found it. It's a bit annoying. What does that have to do with that one thing that's over here? Hmm. I'll have to look into that later. I legit don't remember. So I was able to mess with it the first time I did it. There's those owls they mentioned. Gotta set them on fire, basically. would be fine just for her to learn, just so she has something to actually use during other situations, like AoE situations, because I'm lacking on the AoE is pretty much my biggest weakness right now. I guess it's like that. I usually need one for those conditional drops, thankfully. Curses.
Okay, okay. Making it certain. Because sometimes I see those things pop up and then I accidentally don't notice them. Oh no! before you with an odd elephant on it has no handle and does not budge when you push it. You seem to have no way to open this door at the moment. You leave you leave it to me for the moment to explore elsewhere. Not real quick. You can only open that during the true ending. So it's best that we ignore it for now because we can't do anything with it. I saw a gate or something there. It's me being crazy. Mm. 
No. That's a no, for, no, no for me. Even if they probably could have handled that. It is sunlight, so... Thought so. Let's see, it's been a while since I last saw a camping spot, hasn't it? to the end of this place. In fact, I believe that the that door that door actually leads to the boss. I'm not gonna get attacked immediately, so I'm not worried about that. Key. Oh shit. The odds are good that the Abyssal King and Olympia are way ahead. Use caution when going forth. I don't believe I can get attacked in this room. And we are good until we get too close to the teleporter. Free to map out this room at my leisure. Basically, I'm good until this spot right here. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah. We have finished the stratum. Because he exits straight up ahead. 
I actually don't know if I'm high enough level for dealing with this boss, but you know, I could always give it a shot anyways. Just when I was actually considerably higher level than this last time. But whatever, not a big deal. I'll make do what I can. Alright, so, so, so. Let's see. I will go back to town, rest up, uh, bring my ninjas down here to go get the gather spots, come back with equipment, potentially better equipment, and fight the boss. Yay. Ooh, ooh, Braven could be, ooh. Yes. I do want that. Because then we can put it on uh, Faden when she goes ape shit. And it'll be gl and it'll be great. Okay, Cursed Talons. New armor. I'm gonna have to hold on to this for now, unfortunately. I. I might get the remainder of the other pieces for, so I can actually at least get this quest done. Get whatever the weapon it's offering is. to you, explorers. That old coup has been waiting for you, not patiently either. Ah, but now I'm seeing you have the materials. Tara will be much ha much happy to see it. What kind of weapon do you want as your reward? Oh shit. Um, right, I didn't even think about this. <laughs> uh, that's my own damn fault. Um... I legit don't know. I should have really checked what the rewards were. Oh well. My own damn fault. I'm back. Did you all behave all the way? Here you go, as promised. It's so well made, I can't stop looking at it. The old geezer was happy to work with that metal, too. We're all happy here. Yay. Or a bite. So how's that? By comparison. Wow. That was, that was a waste. Well, my own. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, the stuff I got while I was grinding for that. Try to before I can even make that. Really, that's better. Well, I guess you can't have this plate yet. Sure. I'll go brain. I'll go broke for now. You can tell this dumb katana that it has no use for me. How sad. Okay. Just get back down there, make sure I don't waste my stuff. see where my grinding spot was. Well, for those items anyways. Let's see. 
fastest route would be all the way down there, actually. Completely out of my way for that. Let's see, I have to go down there, get there, up there. Or, well, get there, up here. All down here, okay. Just want to have a good general idea of how to get over there. Won't be able to run away from fights if I want to have my full charge for the fight, boss. So I can now buy Nectar 2s now. I have to run! Please stop. Don't oh, summon more. think about it, I could have just flipped that switch gun that way. But no, it still had to go the long way. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, you're kidding. I'm going to try to save TP2 because I don't want to use my Emery to if I don't have to. That's just since I can't buy any right now because I was too lazy to go restock. Buy a Bra brave ant. Damn it! If I had a, if I bought a brave ant, th then I could have ended this fight potentially on two turns. I didn't even think about it. Damn it! Well, that's my own damn fault. Unless I have one in my inventory. No, of course I don't. Well. Okay, everybody's ready. They're fully healed. As you wind your way through the hall, you discover a faint glow emanating from a strange device. Standing before the device are two figures you know well, the Abyssal King and Olympia. Upon noticing your presence, they turn to face you. The Abyssal King speaks slowly. I believe I have already related the crisis facing both the Deep City and all mankind. If they will not act, I will slay that evil myself. Armor is my native land, after all. A bright light engulfs the area. When it fades, the Abyssal King is nowhere to be seen. It's clear that he must have used the teleportation device to make his escape to another area. As you gaze at the teleportation device in astonishment, you are overcome by a feeling of menace. You spin swiftly to seize Olympia, her bare blade ready to strike. Kurahana, you threaten the Abyssal King's plan. He harbors no enmity towards humans, but I am different. All threats must be eliminated. A dreadful blade extends from her inhuman form and she slowly approaches, eyes locked on you. You cautiously watch Olympia's movements. A familiar voice echoes from behind. 
I apologize for their weight, Guild Karana. Leave this to one to me. You aren't sure how long Kudra has stood beside you, behind you, but his katana is drawn. He glances at you. You can go on ahead. We can't allow the Abyssal King to reach the princess. And I have a score to settle with this thing. It took the lives of many centuries in the second stratum. You nod your assent to his claim, and Olympia steps forth. Another corpse for the pile. Body stacked high in a watery grave. The girl's voice is calm and is even and calm as she begins playing an eerie shrill melody. Come to me, beast clad in the lightning. In response to Olympia's summons, a dreadful thunderous beast appears before you. You can see no other way forward but to fell this creature. Draw your weapons and slay the enemy stranding before you. You're in. Right, let's get things ready. because she's going to do her thing. There, now I'm immune to damage this turn. Back row two. Hopefully Ray can get some multiple procs. Alright. Yeah, this is Warrior's Might. <laughs> Look at that! Makes short work of everything in the game. Also, we're immune to damage because I've, I... One of the reasons why I put it on Sora. So I could do that. I mean, yeah, sure, it would be an actual challenge if I didn't actually use Warrior's Might, but I'm f completely fine of breaking this game wide open if I must. And of course, I could have had a better team to make, to even wipe it out in one turn if I really wanted to. I mean, I could have just done, had um, multiple Shoguns with, uh, Buck, uh, yeah. Basically, I could have had multiple people with Sora's build to support Faden and, and watch what happens. With reserves of strength you didn't know you had, you slayed the mighty lightning beast. Behind you, you can hear the pants and keys of two evenly matched combatants. You turn to find Kudra and Olympia facing each other, both covered in wounds. I hadn't expected this strength from a human, and you have slain my lightning beast as well. The girl who is battling Kudra seems to have realized her weakened position. You leave me no choice. She, sa she quietly, she says quietly as a bright flash blinds you. When your eyes finally adjust, Olympia has vanished. Seems she turned the t realized the tables had turned. They do say discretion is the better part of valor. Kutra slowly approaches you, uh, 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 approaches as you scan the area, finding nothing. His movements are weak and halting from the fierce battle. He seems to be in great pain. He must be stopped. 
But first, Sanchez needs to know that the device was activated. Kudra issues you a key to, uh, with his order to report back. And take this, this woman dropped it. it may, uh, which means it may be useful in some way. Alright, we finally have the moon key. I'll be moving, I'll be along once I've rested a little. Don't worry about me. Just go. Your options are to do as Kudra says and report to Sanchez or check the teleportation device. Well, considering how that'll unlock the, you know, shortcut to the labyrinth. Don't worry about me, you need to get yourself to Sanchez. The other sides are fine. Oh, pfft. Can't go figure that I would mess that up. Something as simple as that. Okay. at least safe. <laughs> you know, just in case I die. I, I mean, I doubt it'll happen, but, you know, just in case. I don't know what my level compared to everything else in here is right now. Rotten fruits, which I don't believe were that terribly threatening. They just like finding your party. And preventing you from running away. They're more annoying with other group enemies. But by themselves, they're not that bad. Let's listen to this. I told you I saw Prince Scootrin the other day, didn't I? Right? Well, later I found, uh, I heard some bad guys went to the floral force looking for her. But I hear that you've asked you guys to go protect her since you're so good. Don't let her down, okay? Ah, uh, it's you. The Abacus idea, idea was a wash. 
or let's not mince uh, words, a fiasco. Now all I'm left with 100 protection mo production models. What to do with them? It won't look good on the books. The real shame is that it wasn't a bad idea. I thought, I thought for sure the rollers. Hmm. Hear me out. If these were worn on the feet, your speed in the labyrinth would be no. Ah, you guys. How... Hey, do you know this? There's a thing called an abacus used for back massages. You roll on your back end. Ah, that's nice. It really relaxes my muscles from a hard day of work. The girl at Napier's firm sold to me. Isn't that so cool? She said it would be a big seller, so if you get one, you better get it quick. Okay. Hey, you got a minute? See, I was paired up with this monk the other day. I like a man in glasses. He's a real icon... Ico a unique guy. I think... I think guys who do things their own way are great. Anyway, he tells me the monster is called Petaloids up here in B-17 in the day, so we should go at night. I was like, oh my gosh, is he making a pass at me? So we leave for the labyrinth, okay? And guess what happens? No sign of those pedal things, but this freaky Volty Fox shows up instead. So I decided, to, uh, so I decided, know it all jerks who act all superior are useless. Give me a wild, passionate guy. Nerona finally coaxed me into going to the porcelain forest. Map seems so useless there. And in truth, it's too bright there. I wish I could hide my eyes even for a second. We'll get what that means later. Item companion. Okay. Found some strange stone tablets in my attic and someone find wood before. Another request is from Potapov. He brought some stone tablets into me and he wants someone to investigate them. Here they are, look. By the designs, I think that they're from the undersea shrine. Potapov is wanting you to take three tablets to shrine and solve the mystery. Oh, I think that was a quest I was picking up. Okay. You can do this, yes? Go for it. And bring us back to Knowledge of the Deep. Yep, okay, that's the one. I just need to remember the order that they go in. Now we're sitting below, so I can set foot on B15. It's great. Oh, that's, oh, that's the armor thing. I guess when I should have gotten those quests early, or whatever. I guess when I got those quests when I went on those floors initially, but yeah, whatever. I'm probably just remembering wrong. Uh, it's you guys. I've been waiting for you. The Adventure Denton is wanting one of the monsters in the labyrinth eliminated. He wants someone to defeat the armored monster near the entrance of B-15. Denton says that it keeps coming back to life no matter how many times he kills it. This is, that is silly. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. Ghosts do not exist anyway. W will you prove him wrong before he spreads his ghost stories around? Go, go, go! Companion. Welcome. The Santa has another job about making reports. Here's they want to know the what materials you can find in the labyrinth. All you have to do is just go to Senatus and make your reports. Anyone could do it. Go go talk to the Grandia Senatus for more details. Now get a move on, explorers. Alright, alright. Talk, talk to her about that. Jeez, I'm drawing your work here. Oh, it's you folks. My young group's been half wiped out in the second stratum. I'm just doing the after action. It doesn't matter to me where you explorers die. You know the risk when you signed up. Just try not to die when you're under my care. The paperwork's a real bitch. Remember when I ordered that sail for your ship as thanks for Tower of Victory? Well, it finally came in. Your ship should be pretty comfortable now. Alright, now we can actually finish getting all the sailing spots, including the best grinding spot. Which is so sad, which is so incredibly sad of just how much better it is than Mr. Penguin. Once again, I don't plan to abuse it unless I feel like I ne really need to level up. <laughs> or to get characters caught up, or possibly even respect Rekka again. Because sometimes I just notice that some things don't work. Um, yeah, Swashbuckling's not exactly working as well as Honor as I was hoping it would. But hey, but yeah, I can always just respect and it'll be fine. But yeah, we can move two spaces now. I can see you're tired, no need to put on a brave face, I know how adventuring can be. Times like this, look to the sea. It's unchanging waters, east one's heart, and restores one's resolve. Ah, nice to see you. Now you can now report in about the materials you find in the labyrinth. Your quote is 130 items. If you don't feel like you have enough, go gather more. Once you've registered that many, come speak to me again and replete. Okay. Do I not have that many? Maybe I do now. <laughs> I confirm the new entries in the new compendium. Arsons and Armor Road will now be able to refer to this list when developing new weapons. This is ultimately for your benefit, you know. It's your duty to make regular reports. 
Thank you for your con contributions to Umrod's future. Your reward has been left at the bar. The Porcelain Forest is a royal sanctuary, sacred ground that only those of royal blood can enter. Your guild is the first exception. Take care not to desecrate the forest during your travels. I knew the moment I saw your faces. The device was it was connected after all, wasn't it? The Abyssal King and his lackey have used it. The princess rests in that forest. We must act. Oh, but but of course. You'll lend a hand, I trust. The Abyssal King were to confront the princess. I haven't lived a hundred years to allow that. Much rests on you. I need you your help to protect our dear sweet princess. Ah yes, there's still the matter of your reward. Hurry, take it. There isn't much time. I know I could rely on you. Well then, do business. It seems a force from the deep city has invaded the porcelain forest. I mentioned once before. The best way to guard the princess would be the evacuator, but we have our reasons for not doing so. If by chance those invaders should stumble upon the princess and they come to blows, you grasp the situation I trust. I don't want his majesty and the princess added tooth and nail. Here, take this. You'll need it to pass the forest barrier. Take it to the fo take take it into the forest and stop the abyssal king. All right. Talk to the peoples in the deep city real quick. Just trying to get all as much dialogue as I can. There are armored relatives to the end, I see. Olympia told me you turned down the Abyssal King's request. Honestly, I'm disappointed you can't see the wisdom of what he's asking you. That's Karahana, I'm glad you're still at it. By the way, what do you all think of the deep city? Nah. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Personally, I th I th I'm only starting to just starting to appreciate it. I'll still return to Armor Road someday, but of course, I hope we can still be friends. Which, well, I guess that we see the eye to eye there, I just finally started to appreciate the city. At first I was so bored I thought about running away, but now I don't think it's so bad. Should I sell down here? If I do, maybe I could rich marry a rich man of the deep city. Oh no, it's nothing, I'm just thinking out loud. Isn't everybody down here like a robot? Oh, whatever. The Abyssal King and Olympia are both away on an important mission. You sh shouldn't be wasting time. Go where you're needed. Okay. Oops, that's how I meant to do. Back to Armor Road. I'm gonna go do the, to the next. Oh, yeah. Make your report about your items yet? One of the guards mentioned that. Here's the. This is the reward from the census. Here you go. Please take it with our thanks. Why not take a break from your adventuring and read your item companion for a while? You might learn something new. Well, until next time, keep up the good working. Alright, so yeah, pretty much I'm going to try to go through those before we move on to the fifth stratum. Do those, hit up all the uh, moon doors, all that good stuff. Probably should skill up my characters first. Two levels. Whoops. I really want to have that. That's mostly for fading things when I'm not actually doing double. Mostly just to protect her on the first turn. But granted, I get. Now I think about it. I guess endure to kind of protect her on the first turn, regardless. Final master's done. Oop, no, I don't need those at any higher than that. She really doesn't need anything else. I guess I could just start putting points to Bloody Lance. Whenever she kills something, she'll just do more damage. Let's give her more Endure so that she can actually survive stuff more. Oh, right. Get more heat up there. I'll be switching that to something else later. 